Okay, so let's go over some of the basic aspects of using the offset parent matrix. Manipulating the offset is basically the same as manipulating an object's parent. To illustrate this, I have set up two groups where one group has a cube and a torus, and the other group also has a cube and a torus. But one the torus is the child of the cube, and the other one, the torus, is connected to the cube using the offset parent matrix, which I will show right here. So this is the cube, this is its matrix, and going into the torus's offset parent matrix. So in the group with the, uh, the hierarchy, if I grab the cube, move it around, you know, do whatever, You can see the torus uh, still has zero transforms. If I do the same thing to the other one, you can see the torus still has zero transforms. So this also includes uh, the aspects of shearing. So let me turn the shearing on. I select the objects and go into the channel control. I can unhide uh, the shearing channels. This way you can see uh, the shearing. Using the offset parent matrix has one big advantage over using parenting and that you can pick which part of the matrix you want to use using uh, the pick matrix node. So to set that up, let me go back into uh, the node editor and I'm going to put in a, a pick matrix node in between uh, these two nodes. So I've hit the tab key and I type in pick, you'll see the pick matrix. And you can Take the matrix from the cube and look for the input matrix. And you can take the output matrix and put that into the offset parent matrix of the torus. So at first, there's no difference from what it was before. And when you select the, the pick matrix and you go into the attribute editor, you can see you have these four little checkboxes. So let me move this into position. Just do some translation, do some rotation, do a little scaling, and doing a little shearing. Then we can see how the pick node actually works. So if I turn everything off except for translation, and you can see the cube still moves the torus around, but nothing else affects the torus. If I include rotation, now only translation and rotation is affecting the torus, but not uh, the scaling or the sharing. And if I include scaling, now scaling is also included in the transform. And of course, if I include the sharing, then sharing is also included.